This is Renee Ritchie from the iPhone blog, and I am sitting with Phil Nickinson, our resident WM expert. How's it going, Phil? Hello, Renee. WM, of course, is Windows Mobile, a.k.a. Windows Phone, a.k.a. I'm sure premium experiences for Microsoft, something or others. And uh, as punishment for reviewing the Touch Pro last year, Phil has brought the Touch Pro 2. Last year was called the Fuse. Is this called anything? This one's called the Tilt 2. That's at and name for it. The stock generic name is Touch Pro 2, which I actually like better. But that's me. All right. And um, this is running what looks like the Sense UI case he showed me on Android. It's very close. There are kind of two versions right now. Um, the code name that HTC uses is Manila. This is version 2.1. There is version 2.5, which we'll see in a second. Uh, the official version of 2.5, which is on the Touch HD 2. Why is it uh, giving me plus signs, Phil? Um, that is a little screen where you can add programs. Pick one. Oh. Push one. Add a program. Add any program. Load them all up real quick. All right, so they... Oh, so it's still a resistive screen. It is still a resistive screen. I'm not happy was, about I'm, I'm the world's biggest fan for glass capacitive screens. I made a joke last year that got me a lot of trouble that TouchFlow 3D was non-touch, unflowing 2D, <laughs> and it looks like they, they have not revised well, that. Well, it's too. loading all these icons. It'll take a second. Once they're loaded up, it, it There's no excuse fine. for taking that long to load <laughs> icons, Phil. <laughs> right, but you do have a back button, which is something the iPhone miserably lacks, yes. so you know, I can't make fun of you too much. Um, all right, so in all honesty, um, yeah, this this is cute and all, but <laughs> this is what brought me to dinner. This is a whole lot of phone. Uh, this is the HTC HD2, and this uh, makes the kind of sense that does. This is kind of what I wanted from Windows. You know, I feel bad saying this. I love the Trio Pro more than the Fuse last year mm -hmm. because to me it was an unabashed Windows mobile phone. Yep. This is the most bashed Windows Mobile phone. <laughs> I can. I mean, they did everything they could to hide Windows Mobile, right? Well, no, that's also true over here. I mean, really what you're looking at is what HTC has done as much as anything else. And I really, I can't say enough about what HTC has done with the phones. Um, you know, basically you're seeing the same... Uh, and this moves much, this is capacitive, right? Yes, that's capacitive. And, glass. and that has a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor in it. Which okay. is kind of the best and the brightest of what we have today. Is it actually clocked at a gig? Because like I know the iPhone is is a fast chip, but they always clock them down so they don't melt your pocket. So far as I know, it's actually clocked at one gigahertz. Wow! I haven't seen animations to, uh, the contrary yet. Yeah, I mean it's fast. There's no no. Uh... Uh, and this, is, I mean, and this screen. I, I was joking before, but this screen is as big as almost as big as my iPhone. <laughs> it's it's scary big. It's basically like somebody said, get the best hardware you can find and shove it on there, and and they did. I don't think it quite makes up for you know some of the problems with Windows Mobile 6.5. That said, I don't think the problems are as big as people say. Um, Windows Mobile is a platform to be built upon, and that's what HTC has done. Uh, Microsoft has always said, take it, put something on top of it, and here they are. They say that because they have to, given the state of Windows Mobile, or do they truly, really believe? Like, do they kind of wish that HTC wouldn't would, would love Windows Mobile more? I honestly can't tell if it's half-hearted or not, but at this point, I don't care <laughs> because what HTC has done is so good. Um, I wish we had other phones like Samsung's Omnia 2 to show you, which is not nearly as good a UI as I think, but it is another UI put on top of Windows Mobile, Frankly, which is so really one of its strengths. I'm glad I don't have to look at them then, because this, I mean, they, HTC has got a lot to be proud of. With they really they. do. Now, I asked this of Casey, I want to ask this of you as well, but does it worry you, do you think that someday a guy will walk in, a guy or a girl will walk into Sprint, and they'll just see a Sense UI phone and be able to buy it and have no idea that it's running Windows. Like, it'll be indistinguishable to them that it's running Windows or Android, except for maybe which app store it has. I think for the consumer, that is the exact perfect thing. Um, and I think that's the direction it's going. And I think that's a testament to what HTC has done as much as anything else. Um, that's not really a bad thing. Is it a bad thing for Windows Mobile, however? It... it you and I have talked about brand recognition and where the next next fight is going to be, and that it's going to be the carriers fighting for it. It's going to be the manufacturers fighting for it. Because HTC it, has their own commercials now, too, exactly. right? Exactly. HTC has their own. AT&T has their own, kind of paired with Microsoft. And it's a little muddy who's doing those, whether it's Microsoft or AT&T. Um, you know what? So long as they're putting out good, good phones, good experiences for people, um, I really don't care. <laughs> and if it makes Microsoft step up their game, a little later, cool. Um, and really, 
what HTC has brought, and, and I really don't mean this to just be an HTC love fest, but that's how good they've done it. What you're seeing here is the stock uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 Honeycomb screen. Push the power button, yeah. And hit the little Windows flag down there, and you'll see them both side by side. I've got a four row on here, the HD2 uh, has a two row. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is buttery smooth, yeah. and this is like after the butter set up for too long. <laughs> It's functional, but it's yeah. not nearly as It's sexy. not as enjoyable. Absolutely. Yeah, and I want to enjoy my phone. Sorry, guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is, this is a magnificent hunk of phone, and I've said that, you know, I really wish that Apple would take a look at the size of the screen. Um, yeah, maybe it's the size of the screen at this point, but this is a lot of pixels. It's to almost love. too big. There are times where you can't reach things with your thumb. I have small hands. Um, but that said, Imagine playing some iPhone-esque games on a screen that size. I'm imagining it right now, Phil. I'm also imagining, do you have Windows Market on here? Yes, right here. Let's Marketplace. unfortunately take a quick look at it. No, oh, can't it can't connect oh, here. So we'll, we'll, all right, we'll we'll going, show it to you on this. App Store has made everyone kind of want to have their own unified place uh, for applications, and this is the one that Microsoft has come up with, and here it is. Uh, actually, it looks better than I was led to believe, Phil. I heard some harsh words about this. I'm not crazy about the way it looks. I'm really not. Um, that said, we know Windows Mobile 7 is coming sometime next year. It'll probably be announced in the spring and, and later, uh, and available later in the year. So part of me is wondering how much work they're going to put into this app store. We know Zoom Marketplace is coming. Oh, so you don't think this will be the app store on Windows 7? I don't know. I don't know. And, and that's kind of, because this feels Ugh. unfinished to me. It, I think they certainly could have done a better job. It's functional. It will load apps onto your phone just fine. Um, it's very nice, actually. Apps that you've purchased or even free apps that you've loaded from the marketplace before. If you get a new phone or you do a hard reset, something went wrong, you got a new uh, ROM you wanted to flash on there, whatever, it remembers those apps and lets you reload them directly from here. Um, so that's very handy. All right, but the so UI leaves a lot. Yeah. Now, you know, as much as I like the HD2, there's one Windows phone, which is not a Windows phone that I want to talk to you about, and it's this, the uh, Zune HD. Phil, why can't I today put this to my ear and say, hello, hello, yeah, this is my rockin' Windows mobile phone with its OLED screen and uh, really sweet interface? You'll, you can do it. You'll just look crazy. Um, for whatever reason right now, you just can't. I mean, it's not a phone. A lot of us have called for Microsoft to just put a phone in the damn thing and, and call it a day. I honestly believe as good a job as they've done with the Zune HD that I really, really believe this is the direction they're going to go with Windows Mobile 7, and I hope they do. Um, I could well be wrong and just sound like an idiot a year from now, but it wouldn't be the first time. But the hardware is there. The UI is solid. It's fluid. Um, this has a Tegra processor in it, a, a 1 gigahertz Tegra processor. You keep hearing 1 gigahertz. Now, you'll see it took a little while for that calculator app to come up. and That, that is, makes no sense because that's a fast processor. Yeah, it, it really does. Um, but it has some solid apps there already. You know, there are only a handful built for this thing so far that we know of. Um, but I bowl all day long. It's got a really good racing game in it, and you know, it's open. I believe it's OpenGL. It might not be, but I don't care. It's fluid. Consumers yeah. don't care. No, they don't. They don't know the technology. They just want it to work. Right. Um, it does have apps before, or ads beforehand. Some of them are static, like this for Zoom Pass. Some of them are video ads. But I can handle that for free games. That really doesn't bother me that much. Um, no, it's a solid device, and I really hope to see that this is the direction Microsoft is going for Windows Mobile 7. So next year, Phil, when we sit uh, in a place very similar to this, having a discussion very similar to this, I hope that uh, a phone very similar to this uh, running Windows Mobile 7 is what we're talking about. I thank you, sir, and I hope it's got a 5-inch screen. And otherwise, I'm going to have to do one of those rants I did about the Palm OS last year. And that worked, That's worth seeing, actually. That, that worked. That's worth taking one on the chin. All right, thank you very much, Phil.